Okay, today I'm going to be shaving my white girl, Angel, because she needs it. And so I'm going to use a tin blade and I'm going to shave everything except her tail because I like to keep them long. And I'm going to shave her, leave her rough so she looks like a little lion. Now, sometimes people are highly opposed to shaving a cat because they feel, oh, it could be the sunburn. It's what protects them from the out of doors. And they send them videos and research that supports their thoughts. And it's true. However, she never goes out. And this is south. And, and they send me videos and stories of how it keeps them warm. And this is South Florida, home of humidity and heat. So I don't know to know about cold because they don't go out when it's cold because we don't have cold. Years ago, I helped someone that was, she rescued a lot of Persians and they were matted to the skin. So I went over and I helped her shave them and one of them I thought it was a female with milk in its udders and its tits whatever you want to call them turned out it was a male and he was nice about it you know I mean and sometimes males you know they don't want you shaving because they're very protective of their private parts and I tell them in advance, my boys, you know, I'm also very concerned about them and they will always be here. And I'm not gonna and I'm gonna take good care of them and don't you worry. But I shave them down because they like a clean workspace. And you can read into that whatever you want. Angel is 10 years old. She spayed. She had a, years ago when she was uh, an intact female, she had pyometria. I took her up to the vet and, uh, and I suppose there's some treatments that some people will use to uh, protect them and, and, and use them to rebreed, but it was just not my thing to do that, so I just, I just had her spayed, and she's going to live here for the rest of her life. Oops. And I'm going to finish the rest of this, like the underside. I come back, and you'll notice that she doesn't have any fleas and she doesn't have any fungus. Uh, and that's another reason why I keep them shaved, because I can see clear down to the skin what's going on. And I see that nothing's going on. That's just the way we like it. Right? I'm going to finish shaving her after I eat supper. Well, we're back. Take a moment break. Let my Clippers cool off and spend 20 minutes chasing her around the long eye. I know she looks like, oh, it must be nice. That cat must be drugged. Uh, well, we don't do drugs here. We clip them until they start to say, I'm fed up and stop. And it's usually the body language that tells me that. And then I stop and maybe I finish the rest of the day. See, her tail's twitching a little bit. Well, she's not real happy. Well, she's quiet. She's 10 years old. You're 10. And a little plump. Just like me. Oh. Now we're getting to the part where it's a little more difficult. Not too bad, but in the armpits and the groin area. 
partially they don't like it, and partially you have to be very careful. Your skin is very thin, and particularly in this area, you can put a, a divot and not even know it. It's not like they scream, ouch, cut me. It's just, nothing happens, and they later you think, what is that? And it's a hole in their skin. So, and it has to be addressed by a vet. I don't do a perfect job with them. Uh, because I'm doing it by myself partially. But they're okay, they're home, and they know I'm not gonna hurt them, and it's just something they have to put up with. Number 10 blade. The only one I use. And this is an Angus two speed. Angus two speed. I know. Ah, what? You're all right. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You do up here? Isn't there anybody that can wash your face? Nobody, nobody in the world, nobody in the planet. Huh, that's sad. Looks good, huh? They're so good. People think, that's, yeah. Is that a cat or a statue? Good girl. All the folks on YouTube will say that too. Wow. That must be a cat statue. Oh no. I'm wrapped up. I know. Getting to the end of your rope, huh? End of your rope. You're behaving so well. Like a professional. You're making me look good. Can they look good? Your skin is really stretchy. Really stretchy, and that's where the problem is. And that's why sometimes they, oh, well, you know, people will say, I, I don't want to cut that short, but it's either, as far as I know, it's either this short or not at all, because you can't put those things on like dogs, you can do for dogs and make it a little bit longer. It has to be either short or not cut at all. Even if you don't shave your whole cat, you should really get a sanitary clip and keep that up. And because they're long-haired cats, and they just cannot take care of it, every spot on them. So I'm going to just get poop on them. Right? No, you don't get poop on it. Never. Oh, yeah. See that? She's getting a little pissed, a little annoyed. She's had enough. Had enough? Not yet? Do not let the cat bite you. That is very dangerous for you 
and I would advise immediately go, go to immediately to doctor or home care wherever place you can get yourself some antibiotics immediately. It will swell up like a balloon and you will be sick for a very long time. So that's why I sometimes when it's when I think they're getting had enough, I just stop. Boy, you are so cooperative, huh? Couldn't ask for a better model. Couldn't ask for a better model. Not a professional groomer. I'm just someone who loves my cats and wants to take good care of them. Sometimes they get tired of it and I get tired of it and we finish up the next day. See, there's no fleas or fungus spots or any of those things. Just a nice little fat cat. Oh, you're not done yet. Gotta even it up a little bit. Excuse us. I like to leave a full tail, so at least I have a little Persian. Maybe we'll get somebody to wash her face. And that is how you shave a person. Now I'm going to clip off some of these other long hairs around here with scissors. I have my little kindergarten scissors made by Fiskars, which are sharp as my adult scissors. And that way they don't have pointed ends. Let's see what I can do. Here. 